Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Droid and today we're playing some more Prison Architects. Last time these bastards looked like they were trying to escape so we're trying to get them back into here. They're supposed to be all in lockup right now so what the hell they're doing out here is a good question. It's a good thing we have this fence around so they can't actually escape. Speaking of which, I actually kind of should just build a whole fence right around this whole area. But anyways, I digress. We'll go from here. So how's our power doing? We're doing good for power. Let's move up my chair a little bit. There we go. And so how are we doing for prisoners? We have our maximum security. We can only hold two more. Um, we don't have any protective custody now. The other guy got out. All right. Okay then. I almost feel this is kind of pointless now to have. But I guess we'll probably get more of them in the future. Speaking of which, I don't think we have any yet. Nope, doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of fearless and tough assholes. And we only have two confidential informants left. All right, so it looks like then we can get, and we have 44 out of 65, so we can get 21 medium. So if we go to intake, you know what? Let's just do it. If we go to that, see that's two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's 21, two of those. Cool. Right on. You got that. And then maybe sooner or later we want to set up m minimum security or something down here. That's pro probably the best thing. And then we get these more medium guys in. Hopefully they aren't taking out all my... Wow, that means they took out one librarian. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, yeah, he did get out. I was thinking it was Mr. Phage for a second, but Mr. Phage is in solitary. Because he's an asshole. So nobody gets to read books now. Because they done fucked up. I like this little spot here, this little four-way, gets everybody. You can't can't go anywhere through the prison So I'm going through this little four-way here, unless you just go around. Then there's that one there. Any other good spots you think we should have them? Let's see, we shouldn't have too many going right through here. Because once they get up through here, they're, these guys are stuck up here. I think they're liking their cells. What do you want? You want freedom. Well, I'm not gonna put a phone in everyone's goddamn room. Y'all got phones outside here. That's what the that's what the two hours of uh, outside yard time are for. And then you have you have two hours of free time coming up. So in this free time, you can go and oh wait, that's not them. Yeah, it is. Free time, free time, work. So these guys should be able to even come down over to the shop, right? We have to keep this locked open and make sure our we actually allow them down here okay speaking of which we might need to get one of these in here what oh it's probably something there oh i like it to be center there we go we'll put it like that oh no, we won't put it like that at all. We won't do that, not at all. Um, maybe we'll stick it. Can we stick it right above that bin? We can't. And what's over here? A shelf. Um, so we could stick it like right there, and it should bring it over to here at least, right? All right. So actually, no, we'll go on this side just so we can see this side too. Let's make sure. Okay, that is it. Just don't want to stick it on the wall again. There we go. I'll go right there. Perfect. Let me get this all done up. Um, our deployment. We have a guard patrol that comes down here. There. I like to see what's going on in all the rooms. And how long is this deployment line? There's two guards on it. There should only be one guard. We have. Oh, uh, some um, are exhausted because that's they're still going around chopping down all those trees, and we still have eight or nine guards in reserve. So that's nothing to worry about. So now he's all working by himself now. It's like, damn it, Phage! I told him not to take those scissors. I 
I told him not that he was going to get caught, but no, no one listens to Charles Barkley. Nobody ever listens to Charles. What are you in here for, anyways? Man of many talents, Charles Barkley became the best b baller in the world, but one fatal move, it was all taken away. The chaos dunk. At the end of I remember this one. Barkley was to blame. He was vilified in the nickname Chaos. I think they even made, didn't they make like a little flash game where it was like, um, New York was taken out by a chaos dunk and like basketball was outlawed and shit like that. And I'm pretty sure. Look at this now. So meal quality is high. They get eggs and bacon and fucking man. Fuck. I want to go to, you know, like oh, I've been looking so forward to going for breakfast for eggs and bacon. Like, man, I bet you these are actually really good too. Like, look at those eggs. Oh my God. I don't even know what that is. That's probably, um, oh, I know what that is. That's, um, hash, uh, not hash browns, um, it's kind of like hash browns. It's, uh, home fries and shit or whatever, you know, when they make the mashed potatoes and the onions and all that, but it's kind of like, they make, this is the way they make kind of like the mashed potato way, instead of, like, sometimes they'll do, like, chopped up french fries or whatever. I don't like the chopped up french fries. They do it, like, if the way I'm thinking of, where you can actually make it in a big pot like this, it's so fucking good. These guys are eating like kings. No wonder everyone's happy. Look, he got he got two servings for him. He got one serving. He got two. He got two servings. He got an egg. He's he knows what's going on. Let's see. Well, how are these guys doing down here with their eating? He just wanted bacon. He's all about that bacon. Oh, I can't wait to start giving them my uh, three plates. You guys start acting like really good and nice and stuff, and we'll start giving you um three plates of dinner so you can have your two bacon and egg how about that i'm sure you guys love that shit hey how about you mr osborne eh yeah, i'm sure you'd love that put a little bit more a few pounds on you let's see i think uh, if i'm not mistaken too if i go to informants or anything no no he's not anything so anything done in the past 24 hours see, this is the best see look at all this shit this is caught down here like fucking a you even got the doggy down there. How oh, are doggy patrols? So we got a doggy patrol there. Dog patrol there. Dog patrol there. That's one, two, three. And I think we have four dogs in total. If you go to staff, where is it? Uh, yeah. Nope. Four armed guards and five dog handlers. So that means we can always have two on break. So that means two are on break down here. So you know what I could do then? Oh, so there already is a dog patrol walking in through and around here. Maybe we could put a dog patrol on this. Maybe. Maybe that looks good. Now, there's no uh, patrols going into the kitchen. So what I might do actually is I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I'll have these guys going, you know, out through here and that with the, and he'll like go and he'll look just inside of here. And then we'll have this guy, he'll go down through here, and then through here, through here, and through there. We'll get these guys off and we'll go arm patrol on this side, and dog patrol on that side. Sweet. And then we should always have one dog handler down here. Our money in per day is... We, we're gonna need some more, uh... These prisoners coming in in about eight hours should help top us off. So, holy shit, we found a lot of stuff. Scissors and tools and everything. What well, with these new, um... These new, uh, things that are getting handed down they should like seriously fuck off with stealing that shit because it's really starting to piss me off. Like, I'm doing so much to get these guys to be so happy and yet they just piss me off so much I kind of just want to take it all away from them. You know what I mean? It's like you're trying to be so nice to them but oh no, they're just like we want all the scissors and all the sharp things so we can just fucking stab everybody because we don't give a shit. Ooh, that was a six grand. Fuck off. Doing everything I can here for you pricks. You have to go treat me like that. I think that's almost all the trees. 
Sweet. Good work, workers. Go take a break. You well deserved it. What's missing from here? There are no prisoners even here assigned. Can we just turn it off then? I don't know what to do. Um. Duh. We'll just leave it like that. It's still protective custody down there. Cash flow. Yay. Like, honestly, I think, let's see, if we go to deployment, yeah, but he needs to go to the chapel to get his spirituality, if they ever do need to do it again. Like, people come in here. I don't think I can fit their own chapel in here. Let's see. Chapel. Like, if I can kind of, like, fit it in here. Six by six. See, yeah, that's not even gonna fit in. It needs to be six by six like that. So too bad for that shit. Oh well. Maybe I'll make the chapel something. Like I bet you these guys need spirituality, right? No? Yeah. Some of them do. So what are we gonna do for that then? Hmm. They don't need it. Build more CCTV monitors. There's just no guards sitting down here? Yeah, there's just no guards sitting there. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, that's because they just had class. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. If we go to programs, guard taser 2, inquire 55, finished, 39, passed. Yep, but here comes all the equipment taser and shit like that. Sweet. Got everyone all tasered up. Looking good. Let's see. Do we have everything unlocked in bureaucracy? No, we don't. But what if we did? What would we want? Permanent punishments. Being in prison just isn't locked. Like your lawyer can file the necessity to let you confine them to their. Oh, sweet. How much money do we have? Let's take a look first. Okay. So we go back into. <laughs> Let's get some permanent punishments. Every prisoner runs into problems every now and then, and sometimes can be fairly big. Your lawyer will start the paperwork to help keep the heat off you should something go wrong. This. I hate how, like, maybe I can read on there. Does it show me on there? But this needs to be done in advance. So I guess you have to do it, like, before something big goes down. I'm good. Legal defense. You're in bed, so there's something entirely wrong, and you've been put in, on notice. Okay. Reduce execution liability. Oh, so that's what we can do death row and stuff like that. So that's one thing we could also start working on. Essentially lowers the number of appeals a prisoner gets before you can schedule their death sentence. Oh. Cool. Well, that could be after we get these guys all filled in. We'll see what our plus is. And maybe, just maybe, we can get some death row people in here. That'd be some crazy shit. I wouldn't mind that permanent sentences though, so I know of like a permanent cash flow of some of these people until they're like dead. That's the only way they'd be able to get out so they die. Oh, it looks like Mr. Phage is out. This better not be him in here. Oh, now it's Harvey Lauder. Where is Mr. Phage? Did he go back to his old cell? Pretty sure he did. That looks like him right there. Nope, that's Tom Weston. Where did old Mr. Phage go? Maybe he got bumped up to maximum. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <clears throat> Um, let me see here. Do 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 do. I don't see him anywhere. Dylan Pratt, Will Mead, Combs, Griffin. Maybe he got out? Again? Where's the I keep breaking? Nope, there he is. So he needs a few things, and he's not supposed to be able to get out for 25 years. Well, he can get out in like a bit. But, uh, is there a way he could just like. 20% of stay in free time. This is grading how well the prisoner is done. Strong punishment score to deter prisoners from refending. Okay, reform. Okay. Security, health. I don't know. I don't know what any of those mean. I have to like really learn myself up on it. So these guys are all going to go in the shower right now. And these guys are all locked up. They should be showering by themselves though. Oh, uh, he just had some luxuries. Should he kept your Nintendo DS hidden there, man? Mr. John Mc... Oh, it's probably McChickens, actually. 
That's probably what he had. Some McDonald's stashed away. So maybe we might be able to make like a little chapel or something for them. Let's see. If we go to rooms and go chapel. Chapel. Oh, too many. Uh, let's see. What is it? We go. Oh, these guys are arriving soon. Six by six. Why can't? Okay, so <clears throat> then what I could do is concrete walls. No, then what I can do is this. Seven to seven, so that'd be six to six on the inside, right? Rooms. Chapel. That'd be only five by five. Alright, uh, so I gotta bring this back out, go to foundations, back into here, so what we'll do is we'll grab this, so 7 to 7 is too much, so 8 out of 8, and then if we go into rooms, and go to chapel, shut up, 6 out of 6, perfect, alright, and then for, I just want to make sure also for rooms, what we want to do is clear that. And we got these guys arriving in 38 minutes. So let's get these along, shall we? So we're gonna start filling up this prison. Things are looking pretty good. Fucking A, guys. This is looking dope. How's it? Danger is medium increasing. What's up? What's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are my needs? People need family. People need freedom like hardcore. How do you get freedom? Well, what do you want? Is it because you're like, is it because we changed up these uh, things and now they're all locked in their cells? If we go to uh, here, maybe we can just bump these down a bit. Six, five, five, five. Like, if we do this, they're all gonna be trapped in their cells nonstop. There we go. So that should help with the freedom, hopefully, a bit. One waiting. What the fuck? God damn it, guys. Quit going to fucking library book. $10 for an unsorted library book? Are you serious? Piss off. Alright, now I'm gonna take the intake. And we should get one more bus. A knife! Jesus. Come on, where's our last bus? There it is. And closed. So we get these guys in. One, two, oh, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. So we can also, for that, we can get. Three, four, five. One more guard. So we have 45 guards. So we have John Reedman, Garth Bailey, Oliver Oli, Vince Big Balls Van Pier, Andrew Lovegrove, Alex Ansley, Jacob Nautas, and Aaron Zeus Wessler. Alright. So we have Wessler in here. Alright, guys, bring them to their cells. Good job, good job. Here comes the next row of people. You know, we're probably gonna need another cook. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they just take, did he just take them? Right? Okay, no, he didn't. So our next row is Matt Totem, Ed Stubbs, Ray Cool Williams, Tom Roach. Uh, wait, what was that? We got Ray Williams. That's okay. Jared, the son of Plunder Snyder. Steve, Mr. Brilliant Hogwart. A light. Paul Fletcher. And Dan Oblertz. Cool. And then finally on the last bus should be our two maximum security guys. Oh, we still have some more of these guys. 
and then maximum security. All right, so we have Andrew Jones, Kyla Madrine Stars, Linus Human Kirby Hill, Yari Fuxun Langren, Chris X Blaze 266 Unknown. Haha, uh -huh, we don't know, he just showed up one day. Okay, and Mark Tapper. All right then. So we got all these guys in here. Come on guys, get in. You know, you know the drill. Oh, these guys gotta stop stealing shit, man. Maybe I should have stopped finding shit. No. I definitely need... You know what also? Is this... Is this... Danger level's medium. We're gonna need to search their fucking cells soon. Let's see. Uh, search cell block. Which one do I just highlight? Huh. Maybe if I click on here. We'll do cell blocks at a time. So we'll do these two cell blocks first. And then we'll slowly make our way through. And whatnot. Though a lot of our guards seem to be... Uh, busy at the moment oh yeah speaking of which this would be a good time to hire an armed guard or two so we'll have these guys working down there sweet we'll speed this along so we can get people moved along into their cells and shit like that maybe I'll get uh, Another guard there. So that seems to be searched. Oh, it lit up that whole block. These guys up here don't need to be searched. They, they've been actually doing pretty well for maximum security, I'd have to say. Oh, this is going to need a door. So if we go objects and door, we can put one right there. Did that put one in the middle? No, it wouldn't. Would not be in the middle. Actually, can we get a double door? I remember reading something on the uh, mod about a double door, so hopefully that works. And then we still have these guys over here. Come on. Come on, get these guys closed and out of here. There we go. No one's in there, don't worry. I guess most of them are gone through here searching. Oh yeah, we got something. Oh yeah, they're not even on their camera right now. That's okay. Everyone's full, busy, busy, busy. So we got rooms, chapel. What does the chapel need? It's gonna need pews. It's also gonna need a prayer mat and an altar. So we can put the altar, I'm just going to put it over here, put some prayer mats along here, and then some pews, one, two, come on, two, three, and some more prayer mats. Actually no, can we get this altar? Like back here. And then one more pew. Right there. Perfect. So that's going to be a chapel. This is all searched through. Everyone's happy so far. Alright. Well, this looks like a good place to end it. Hope you've all enjoyed the episode so far and the series. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you all next time. I think he's banging on it. Pretty sure. Skim time, I guess. There he goes. He figured out how to use the fucking baseball bat.
just fucking run right now. Oh. Oh. This is bullshit. You know, you know, fuck this game. We'll play something fun game. A nice happy game. A game with colors and anything else. see me. Wait, what? 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 